Greetings, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We form our circle, linking from around the world with love of our hearts, light of our minds, and in focused intention of the will to good. Welcome to our second meeting of the third season of the Creative Lab, Awakening the Souls of Our Nations. We co-create this space together with all of you, with all of us, and with the uh, guidance of the Hekal group from Jerusalem and Klans Kale group from Germany. We hold in this space, invoking the souls of our nations. Before we start our meeting today, uh, I want to do a couple technical uh, uh, and share a couple technical notes. There was a problem with the registration link this time. We apologize for that. Maybe because of that, some of you will be listening this in the recording. Uh, we'll try to figure out what was the issue and to fix it for the next time. Um, and the second thing, um, we are uh, trying to work around the limitations of our go to webinar platform and uh, encouraging uh, all of us to add the name of our country to our name. It's not that straightforward when we register, but when we already now together on the platform, some of you who are on your computers uh, and probably some of you who are on your t uh, phones can add the name of your country to your name. So it's... Uh, should be easy, but again, some of you might have limitations on your uh, uh, tablets. So try to click, uh, do right click on your name, and there should be an option to edit your name, to change your name. So if there is uh, no yet the name of your country to your name, please just add your country and um, just happened that I also don't have the name next to my, uh, the name of my country next to my name, so I will do it right now. So um, this way we can see the presence of different energies of our countries that each of us brings into our circle. Thank you again, and uh, let's continue our journey. Over to you, Uta. Thank you, Alexander. Hello, everyone, to our 26th webinar. Last time, we have made a significant step into our third phase, um, which we are now expanding from coming together as representatives of our nations to gradually becoming a council of elders on behalf of our family of nations. So we go one step up. And so this council of elders will be now for us our meeting ground in our creative lab for awakening the souls of our nations. Our aim is to grow gradually into this function and to build together a little seed for United Nations of the future on a higher turn of the spiral. The United Nations, which will act as a moral compass to the governments and hold a space of wisdom and understanding 
for the family of nations. Such an envisaged council of elders is of course modeled according to the hierarchy. And we will train ourselves for this function and help meditate it into existence. So let us begin this today with donning our robes as elders and meeting in the council chamber for the family of our nations. Let us withdraw our attention inwards to a place of perfect stillness. Breathing deeply. Equilibrium. Well grounded in the earth, calmly present as a soul in incarnation. Let us take now our position as the conscious self of our nation, posi positioning ourselves midway between its personality and its soul. Taking a moment to link with our nation as an entity, with its flaws and its strength with its own note. Feeling the love for our nation and also our freedom from it. Now let us at the same time hold our own integrity, our own sense of self, while also holding the note of our nation. Let us balance these two. Now we are ready for the gathering in the chamber of the Council of Elders. Imagine entering a beautiful building set in nature. And coming into a quiet and clear and spacious room. In it are seated, perhaps in a circle or a half circle, various people, obviously from different parts of the world. We are finding our seat. and looking around, taking in the atmosphere.
watching more people piling in. Sensing the rich background that each brings into the space, the unique note of their nationality. And yet, at the same time, these people's sense of belonging seems to lie beyond their racial, cultural, and religious backgrounds, above political opinions. It is easy to feel that they love their nation and also are capable to address fearlessly and honestly its shortcomings. Purity of motive radiates from them. Their outward appearances differ, yet the same wisdom shines through their eyes. Their faces radiate benevolence, integrity, freedom. Just savor for a moment, sitting in the presence of this council, being part of this council, this breadth of vision and consecration of heart. sensing that this is a safe space for the affairs of the family of nations. A relaxed and yet focused silence settles in the room as this group of wise representatives close their eyes for reflection and invocation. Holding space together for our family of nations. Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. Refocusing now in our own personal space breathing and grounding. And let us hold this atmosphere of the Council of Elders during our work today.
let us remind ourselves of the skill set of this high office that we worked with in the last webinar. Um, Alexander, can we see this slide? Yeah. So to this high office, we bring the best of our heart and our mind and our soul connection. With the heart we hold the safe and sacred space. And with the mind we penetrate into the many levels and areas of human endeavor. And through our soul alignment, we will gradually develop a comprehensive vision and the ability to be a bestower of wisdom. So today, our focus will lie on the skill of discernment. As esoteric students, we aim to understand the forces working behind the scenes, penetrating to the causal level. And this seems of special importance now. We really need this now, as we are seeing the door where evil dwells opening planet-wide. As the esoteric community and as the new group of world service, we must realize fully what is at stake at the moment. Our capacity to penetrate with our awareness, to use our discernment, to see what is going on in the world that may be the decisive force in the present all-out war against humanity. We must recognize it so we can confront it and play our part in it. And this global evil uses the unresolved issues in each of our nations. So the first step for us is to recognize it in our own nation. This seems now to be of the greatest priority to take stock of what's happening. Evil which is recognized can be confronted, can be worked with. And when we concentrate on the evil in our own backyard, we will stop blaming each other. This is so important. We will together develop an understanding of how we all contribute to global evil. Humanity's dweller on the threshold is now out in the open. And that's a good thing. It's a huge opportunity. And we must face it together and each of us in our own sphere of influence. So today, let us focus the laser beam of our discernment, each one on our own nation, on both the darkness and the light in our nation. And in following webinars, 
we will also look together at each other's nations. And then also on the interaction between our nations until we see a fuller and fuller picture and hold it together. So today we are doing what we can call a snapshot 2.0. In the previous round, we have done snapshots of the field of consciousness of our nation. So today we will build on this experience and we refine our protocol. We're bringing it up more to the standard of the analysis of nations that our teacher, DK, makes in the book, The Destiny of Nations. This is a tall order. And we will not be able to match that, of course, but we can stretch towards it. So we will look at our nation as part of the Council of Elders, as an elder. So before we go into meditation with this, let's just go through the protocol of this snapshot. Um, can we have the second slide, please? Um, these guiding questions are arranged in the order of the model of psychosynthesis. It's similar to the previous template of the snapshots. Um, but we have added some depth and concrete detail. It's in the style, it's more, it's a bit more in the style of DK's analysis, the way he's doing it for his disciples in the Diner books and for the nations in the Destiny of Nations book. Okay, so just let's go through it. We will start with looking at the personality, the levels, the three levels, physical, emotional, mental. Um, looking at their expression, their activity, and perhaps also gauging their ray qualities. Looking at their weaknesses and having also a look at how does my nation participate in global evil. And then we look at the strength and at the personality integration. Where is it already integrated? Where is cleavages? What are the personality ray and the astrological sign as far as we know it? And also look at how much is the synthetic head center, the stool of the director already developed in our nation? And what capacity for self-reflection is present in my nation? How does it express it? And then we will look to the soul qualities. Just in the, in the beginning, just opening ourselves to its energy without any concepts, just emptying ourselves and linking to our impressions. And then considering soul ray and astrological sign as far as we know it and what could be the potential and the task that the soul has, this nation as a soul. Then we take all this and look at the present challenge, at the current situation. And what could be the next step? in the nation's process. What, what does my nation need to learn now?
And then in the end, blessing, blessing from the nation, national soul to the national personality. This is the, this is a, a this last point was the blessing is something that we want to de develop in a, in the next webinar a bit more. Here, let's just play with it, um, go go with it playfully. There's no expectation of, of doing this, but what we would like to get to is um, a synthesis of all the previous insights into one sentence or into a kind of a mantra that expresses the intention or the guiding thought which the soul holds for the national personality at this time related to the present, to the current um, situation. So this is quite a concentrated work and it's a work in process. It's not that in one session we can answer all these, these questions. It will take time, it will take consecutive uh, sessions and uh, with each snapshot we will discern more. Yeah, so we will uh, post the guiding questions in the chat. So please, you, you don't need to write them down. We will, uh, Alexander, please add them into the chat box for later. But it will be helpful to have for this exercise now a pen and a paper ready and to write our impressions during uh, the meditation. When we do this um, inquiry several times, then it is good to compile our consecutive findings. Many snapshots make a rounded out picture. Okay, so let's have a try, take it into meditation. Breathing again, and touching back into our inner stillness. Into equilibrium. and realigning with the atmosphere of the Council of Elders. Standing in the function of being one of these elders. And stepping now again into the midway point between the personality and the soul of our nation. Being seated on the stool of the director of our nation. And sensing our national colleagues with us Aligning our consciousness with the higher co-workers who guide our nation, human and deva.
you let us now hold a loving space for our nation and use the light of discernment as we go through the questions of this nation snapshot. So we will begin with the personality of our nation, its physical, emotional and mental aspects. One by one, we will observe their state of development, their main qualities, and perhaps sensing their ray qualities. So let us start now with the physical expression of our nation. Just taking one or two minutes, opening ourselves to observation. Now expanding our view, shifting our discernment to the emotional plane of our nation. Its general qualities, state of development, maybe its ray quality. minute. And focusing now on the mental world of our nation. The streams, the thought forms 
the level of development of the national mental body. Another half a minute. Let's look at what are the main weaknesses that we can discern in our nation. Can we discern how global evil uses these weaknesses, uses our national problems?
And let us now shift to the strengths of our nation. What are the main strengths that we can discern in our nation? And let us now look at our national personality as a whole. How integrated are the aspects with each other? Is there a dominant one? Are there cleavages? Could we say that our nation has reached the level of an integrated personality? And in how far, if, has our nation developed the capacity for self-reflection? And if it has, how does it express itself? Capacity for self-reflection. Let us withdraw for a moment our awareness to the stool of the director. Just breathing and recentering ourselves. And now, looking up, making ourselves receptive to our nation's soul, leaving behind now all that we know or think about our nation's soul, opening ourselves 
completely to new and unexpected impressions. Just let us take a moment, open space. Now let us open to the qualities that we know of, of our nation's soul, perhaps its ray quality, its ascendant. Just considering it and sensing this for a moment. and opening ourselves to what could be its task, its contribution to the family of nations, its specific role. Now centering again on the midway point between the personality and the soul of our nation. Breathing and holding both in our consciousness at the same time, personality and soul together. And from this soul-inspired view, let us now observe our nation in its present situation, in its current challenge. Just attempt to look as the soul at its current task and what may be the next step in 
what would be the quality or qualities needed. Let us take another moment to formulate all this into a soul-inspired blessing for our nation. What would we wish for our nation in this current situation? What may guide its next step? And now let just this blessing stream forth upon our nation. Now, just leaving this blessing to continue streaming forth into the personality of the nation. Let us now withdraw our attention, bring it back into the midway point as the conscious self of our nation, releasing, breathing, Gently returning to our own energy field, grounding back into the here and now.
So when we are all back, let's take time for some sharing. Let us begin with just holding space for any soul blessings which you would like to share. Afterwards, we can share maybe more details. But now, first of all, if you have, if you would like to share a blessing to your nation, you could first indicate the name of the nation and then pronounce the blessing. And we leave a little time between the blessings so they can reverberate in our chamber of elders. Hi, this is Efrat from Israel. And the blessing is open your heart and trust. Hello, here's Annette from Germany. And my blessing to Germany is Germany gather in your magnetic center of power. And from here nourish the principle of equilibrium. So that through you, the beauty of right human relations and unity in diversity may arise. And be a powerful bridge builder. Hello, here is Grete from Denmark. And my blessings for our nation is just open your heart. Hello, Jill, uh, Britain. My blessing for Britain would be similar to open your heart and cooperate with more nations than just the powerful ones. Thank you. Hello. 
Hello from Greece. Let's beauty prevail on earth and on my country. Let's beauty prevail on earth and on my country. Desha from Canada here. Blessing to Canada. Embody the values of love, wisdom, and respect into systemic changes to benefit all Canadians, not just a few. All Canadians. Thank you. This is Catherine Heller of the United States. May your will to achieve surrender in service to the idealism that you hold for the benefit of all. We can hear you and speak. This is Martha from the United States. May you learn, grow, and thrive, beloved country, as you reach toward your vision of the highest light. This is Helen from Israel. My dear little country, when your heart is open, you can really be great. Open it to your neighbors and to your people. This is Andrea from the United States of America. May we follow the example of the heart of the mother that flows with inclusiveness, selflessness, and unconditional love.
Nelly, if you still would like to share, please unmute yourself. Yes, thank you, Alexander. Uh, Nelly from Croatia. I wish blessings to all nations and all peoples on the earth that we all may unite and live in perfect harmony. Thank you. Prasita, if you still would like to share, please raise your hand. Hello, it's Alice from Portugal. And let us all pedal in the same direction to reach and fulfill the purpose of the souls of all nations. Thank you. Uh, this is Judy from the United States. Uh, extend a blessing for enlightened dynamic group leadership where decisions are made up based on love rather than competition. Hello from Greece again. Let's beauty prevail on earth and on Greece also. Thank you. Hello, Sonia from Switzerland. Uh, I would like to bless all countries for peace, to achieve peace with justice. Thank you, friends, for all these beautiful blessings. A lot to take in, to hold. This template of the snapshot will evolve over time 
and uh, we would be very grateful to get your feedback on it what works and what may not be so helpful what was difficult and um, that uh, so can we we will tweak this template according to your input so perhaps we could use these minutes that we still have if you would like to just share how this experience was for you not so much the um, the details about your nation but how was uh, the the experience of working like this was it too long um, did you need more time um, things that can help us uh, make it yeah improve it have it evolve into a very useful tool hopefully This is Sabina from Germany. Yeah, thank you, Uta, for leading through this really challenging tour de force of meditation. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I can really feel a new frequency and a new um, um, tempo. What do you say? Um, velocity mm -hmm. in the in the going forward. And um, maybe I would have needed some more time for the many, many questions. Mm -hmm. But I also feel the necessity of a, a, some questions, not only one, to really arrive at, a, arrive at a kind of blessing in the end. So maybe some question less would have give a little bit more time for the others. Mm -hmm. um, but in generally, um, I can also feel so this is something to get accustomed to, and uh, maybe it will also improve or uh, precise or focus or um, go to the center of the meditation. So I try, I tend to get a bit weaving in the questions, and so my my higher mind or intuition can be trained to to become more focused mm -hmm. what is the question thank you this mm -hmm. yeah really beautiful challenging to the false <laughs> mm -hmm. so if i get you right it it would uh, for you it would be easier if the the questions would be more general and, and not so detailed no, I, I think the detail is very good, but it was a lot of questions. So mm -hmm. yeah. and then I have to retranslate in English. And uh, so this is really, um, yeah, it's a good training. It was mm -hmm. maybe for now the first time it was the maximum I could somehow hop. hop. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hop only <laughs> after the new inspiration that came and follow. Mm. Yeah, thanks, Sabina. Welcome. Thank you. There is a comment from Carlos from Argentina uh, saying express brotherhood. Um, Maybe, Carlos, you could speak on that a little bit. If you'd like to share, just raise your hand and we will unmute you.
Hello, Jim Clark here from Mexico. I think this new format gives us an incredible opportunity to begin to function as a combined soul. The idea of being a group of elders. And then what I see is the group of elders actually raising up together in a, in a single thought form around the, the golden chalice, the chalice that uh, Alexander and the, and the 2025 initiative uses that beautiful golden image as a communication tower that will take us ab above actually through our, through our group energy and group effort to begin to tap into the rain cloud of knowable things in the spiritual triad. And the years of work that have preceded what's happening now today, in my opinion, has prepared us for that. And I personally would like to see more time dedicated to that effort. That's all. Jim, thank you. Um, to what exactly to dedicate more time? Yes, dedicate more time in, during, 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 during these webinars. Um, Uta, you have an incredible ability to guide a meditation, which I'm sure everyone on the call has recognized over the years. And your way of weaving, weaving together words and energetics that can bring us together in this. My visualization is that beautiful golden chalice. Mm. And I see that beautiful golden chalice as a communication tower. All of us are plugged in from below and it turns into a single invocation. And as that energy, as we begin to tap into the higher energy through our unity, I think, I think we're going to start being able to download some stuff. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I very much resonate with this communication tower. And I have a sense that it's really starting to happen now in the in our spiritual community. Um, just now, these last days, several of us have put focus on the spirit of peace in these last weeks, actually. And it came up uh, um, independent of each other that suddenly the spirit of peace uh, uh, was referred to and worked with and is worked is being worked with, opened to. So this is for me a sign that um, the telepathy, this telepathic field, this, this, this uh, communication dish um, is working, has started to work. I agree. I I just began to fit to begin to feel what you're talking about just last week as a matter of fact uh in one of the meditations with uh, that Alexander had he touched upon that idea of uh of tapping into the rain cloud mm -hmm. and for me it was powerful I mean I actually caught something that uh when I began to reflect on it, I thought, well, this is just so mundane, you know, this, this is really nothing. Mm. But then just as, as the conversation proceeded, it, it actually began to round out and begin to take on meaning between my own ears. <laughs> and then I expressed something. And when I finished expressing, I thought to myself, wow, that came out all right. I mean, mm. you know, I was I was pleased at, at at what I felt and was able to put into words because uh, you know I'm not not very good at that and that, but I want to be and I I want to be you know and the only way as we know 
at this level that we find ourselves that that's going to happen is in group formation period yeah. that's you know that's it right right and to 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 go about it playfully so we will have the courage to to say what comes to us uh, try it out and then see that it's actually working right I think each each one of us, as we work with you or work in this group, I should say, needs to develop a, a sense of safety and mm -hmm. a sense that uh, as long as we're coming at it from a point of of harmlessness and of uh, self discipline, I think the words that come out are going to be just fine. They may not be totally satisfactory to our own selves. But I think that in the, within the group information, within the group energetic, just that energy alone provides a, uh, a framework mm -hmm. of safety as well as a framework of, uh, what should I say, uh, guidelines. I think, mm -hmm. I think the guidelines automatically manifest Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, any more feedbacks on the protocol? It would be helpful. Also, if you don't feel comfortable to, uh, here on the on the webinar, I'll be happy to to get your feedback uh, uh, through email. Because this is a this is really as Jim now uh, referred to. This is really a, a work, a group effort. Hi, hope... this is Efrat. Okay. I would uh, thank you for this uh, amazing meditation. Um, I agree with the idea that there is a. Uh, actually, from one hand, I think uh, it would be good to have more time uh, between the question, but from the the other hand, I think the tempo was good. It helps me to to hold this all huge um, structure together, and it's good that the questions are in the chat box, so we can go back to them. Uh, mm -hmm. And and during the meditation, it was just like uh, hints and and uh, the beginning of the answer, not full answers. So for me, knowing that the question are in, in the chat box, that I can go back to them, uh, it was very helpful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I agree with this too, yeah. Um, it's a scaffolding and we don't have to fill in uh, in every slot some answer. Um, it will fill in time, and I think, Efrat, you're right. Uh, for me, it's the same uh, sense that I would rather keep the whole structure uh, than making it into different um, different um, sections, which, of course, we can also do. Uh, anyone can do. We can have one session looking only at the personality, for example, and so on. But it's good. It's it it gives something that um, that we hold in our consciousness this whole structure, and then filling in the slots as uh, what whatever comes when uh, whenever something comes, and in the end we will have a a, um, a fuller picture. To do it again and again, and that's actually the idea. Yeah. And of course, you, you, uh, we would love to um, to have 
uh, you share uh, snapshots again, like we did in, in, in the previous round, to use this protocol as a, as a scaffolding of a, of a snapshot to, to go deeper now, to get to know each other and to know each other's nations deeper through sharing these snapshots. Next month, uh, we have planned to do a German snapshot for the first try. Hello, this is Margot from Canada. I found it to be somewhat of a learning curve, um, a, new, a new template to follow. The temple uh, and the sense of the quality of life within the council chamber was, was profound and um, a very supportive um, tent, if you will, in which to, to uh, listen within. I would have liked a little more time. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's it. Thank you. Between the questions, for all the questions? Yeah, a little, mm -hmm. a, a little more time, because I found myself going back and forth between um, kind of analyzing with my mind and then letting that go and being intuitive and kind of going back and forth and back and forth. So it was a bit disjointed. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's that will shift for me as I get more accustomed to um, to the protocol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if it was more time, uh, would it not be overwhelming and um, to have a, an even longer meditation? Um, good question. No, actually, now that you ask that, I think I think it was just my own process of going back and forth. And as I get more used to the protocol, the timing will be all right. Mm. Yeah, because it's also a matter of how much uh, concentration capacity do we have for this intensity of, of inquiry. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a tall order, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone would like to add anything before we close? I can just give a voice uh, to what Carlos uh, shared with us in writing. His microphone is not working, so. Express brotherhood. We are all little brothers of the Christ. Love and family of nations cause the family of nations needs Christ now. Brotherhood is the sound that resonates from the heart. That's from Carlos from Argentina. Thank you, Carlos. Family of Nations needs Christ now. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for this deep meeting, gathering in the chamber of the Council of Elders. Let's grow together into this function for all our relations. Thank you very much.
And Uta, maybe you can say when is the next meeting of the lab? Uh, when is the next meeting? I don't have it now in front of my eyes. Yes, that, I know that's a tricky question. I wanted to announce that and realized I don't have it in front of me either. <laughs> um, let's see when the next full moon is. Pullman is on Tuesday, the 8th of November. So this is, yes, the, the 8th of New November will be our next Nations Lab. Tuesday, the 8th of November. Okay, any more uh, announcements from your side, Alexander? continue our work from the full moon to the full moon mm -hmm. and today is the last day of distribution and we grateful to all our presence in this circle and yes we definitely learn the nature of our group chalice that we co-create together through joint experience and practice. Mm. Much gratitude. Much love.